Hello, so here's my tutorial on how to fix Microsoft Streets and Trips. You've probably come across this error on the internet. It's error code 0xc004d301. And everybody here says that no one can fix this apparently except Microsoft support. So I found a way to get around it the sneaky way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to virtualbox.com and you're going to click on this thing, Google VirtualBox, and then once you have this window, I want you to download VirtualBox, and I'm on Windows PC, so I'm going to do Windows Host. I'm going to save this to my Downloads folder. And now I'm going to check. Okay, it's ready. I'm going to open the download. wants me to install so it wants all this stuff it's gonna put it in a nice folder there network interface will set your internet connection temporarily that's fine Oracle VirtualBox Python bindings that's fine install okay so now we're gonna start VirtualBox and you're gonna see this window now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to the internet and so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the internet and you want to type in softlay windows 7 iso see softlay let me go back softlay how to download windows 7 iso you can google that i'll put it in the description you're going to scroll down you're going to go to windows 7 ultimate is the one i like to use click it and then you're going to hit free download and when the download links come up, you're going to select download ISO 64-bit, and then I'll let it download, and then I'll restart the video. Okay, so now that you have Windows 7 DVD ISO installed, you have it here. What you're going to do is you're going to minimize, go back to VirtualBox, select New here, and then for name, you're going to type Windows 7. And you'll see that the version changes here. It wants you to have an ISO image, so you're going to drop down on the drop down ISO image, other. I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to use this copy of Windows 7. Okay? It's going to install this to this folder, which is fine with me. Windows 7 Home Basic, Windows 7 Ultimate, you want to make sure. Okay? Next. Yeah, so now you want to click Edition Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, next. You're going to have this VBox user, username. So I'm going to do VBox user 1. And for the password, I'm going to do 11223344456. 11223344456. Make sure it's copied. I would take a notepad and write all this down. So you're going to type password, user, okay, and host name, Windows 7 is not going to work because it has a space in it, so you do Windows 1, so you're going to do host name, Windows 1, and the donate domain name is going to be my guess virtual box. You'll notice that there are green arrows. Now, what I would do is I would Google for now free Windows 7 keys, and you get a list of product keys. So I'm going to copy the first one. And remember, this you may have to buy a copy of Windows 7, but for the purposes of having it work immediately, I would just copy in that for now. I don't, I don't know if it'll last after three days of activation, but I'd be willing to buy Windows 7 when it's ready. So for now, I'm just going to use the free license key I looked up. Guest Edition ISO. But I, I have it checked. 
So I'm going to check it. Okay, next. Okay, it's going to ask me to do some memory. So base memory is, we can go back. Base memory is fine. Let's see, 32 gigabytes, that's fine for me for now, but I'll do 37, doesn't, let me see. Doesn't, doesn't really matter, about 37. All right, and then you're gonna go finish. Now you'll see that you have Windows 7 here. It's gonna load Windows 7. You can click this little blue icon here and it'll make this window move away. Windows 7 Professional, that's fine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this to finish running and it's probably gonna take a little while to download and install. So there's no prompts or anything needed to be done. I'll cut the video here and I'll do it when it's, when this is all done installing Windows, then I'll get back to the video. I'll restart the video and we can watch more. Okay, so now Windows 7 is setting up the registry. It's going to complete the installation now. Okay, so what I did was there was a, a button that said install driver software anyways, so I clicked okay, I, I clicked okay, install the driver anyways. Now I have my Windows 7 here, and you'll notice you'll hit my computer. You'll see a couple of things here to look at. Not very interesting. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to quit out now. It says save the machine, power off the machine. So now I powered off. And we're gonna do the internet now so what you're going to do is you're going to go to, I have this video here fixed no internet virtual box works for all operating systems and you're going to use these settings here so let me show you how to do that go to virtual box make sure Windows 7 is selected settings and then you're going to go to network and then network adapter you're going to click this attached to bridged adapter and you will see a couple of options here so you have the Intel Ethernet connection like that. I don't think it really matters, but there you go, Intech Gaming Family Controller. We will try that one. Okay, so you're gonna click down here. Adapter type, you got a couple of choices. Let's check the choices. Why don't you click on the advanced option here? So I have the Intel Pro selected by default, which is fine. So default is fine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click here on promiscuous mode and you're going to do allow all. Okay, and that's all you have to do for now. Cable connected, you have to keep checked, even if you have a wireless network. So keep that in mind. Hit OK. Okay, now we're going to install the libraries just in case it doesn't have the libraries. For instance, if I click here, and I go to USB, sometimes the, the 1.1, 2.0, and 3.0 aren't working. I would use 2.0. That's the one that should be selected, and it worked on my other laptop that probably has USB 2.0 drives. And either way, 2.0 is the way to go. So you can hit OK or click, click off. It's already selected. I would go to back to the Internet. You're going to type in Windows VirtualBox Extension Pack. And you'll see here the extension link. So you go, or you just go to virtualbox.com. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to see the extension pack. S see all supported platforms, VirtualBox o Oracle extension pack. Click that, save it to downloads. It's done. So what you're going to do is you're going to run the extension pack. 
going to install it. Okay, the, the extension pack should be downloaded. So what you're going to do now is you're going to you're going to power up Windows 7. And we're going to check to see if the internet works now. Okay, let's check the internet. Okay, the first page shouldn't work. Okay, we're gonna go to Google. Dot com. We're going to type in GG. And now we have internet. So that's a good thing. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to click here and go here. And this is my trusty USB drive. So the next step is to minimize this whole window. I want you to take your USB stick, put it in your computer, and then I want you to go to this PC, and then you're going to see your USB drive. Now what you want to do is you want to make a folder called Streets and Trips or whatever you want, and you're going to take, you're going to, you would go to this computer go to your CD drive wherever it is it's I see I don't have a CD drive but you'd put your streets and trips CD drive it, you put the CD in the CD drive and then what you would do is you would right click it and hit open and then whatever files are in the CD drive I want you to copy them and then paste them in so that it looks like this so now you have all these files from your CD drive of street, t streets and trips 2013 and then what you're going to do is you you are going to minimize this once you have the files there. Go back to VirtualBox and you're going to set up the USB device. So what you want to do is now that I have the USB stick in, but look, there's no C, there's no USB drive here. So what you can do is you can do devices, USB, and you're going to see all these options. And usually it's the unknown device is the C is the flash drive. So once again, if you you, you want to make the USB drive show up, so you go hit here, computer. Then you're going to go scroll up to the top of the screen, and if you can't get out, hit the right control key, the host key. Okay, so now you're going to hit unknown device. You're going to wait a second, you're going to hear it ready to use. And we're going to wait for it to show up. Okay, it showed up. So now you're going to click here. You're going to go to Streets and Trips. Don't need that. And you're going to run Setup. Yes. So it's going to ask you to install all these things. You're going to hit OK. I will cut the video, and when this is done installing, then I'll go back to it and show you what to do next. OK. OK. So now the program is asking you for the installation. So you're going to set this up, do your email, do drummer at yahoo.com, whatever the email is for your account. And then you're going to install Microsoft Streets and Trips there, install location, install. And this takes a while. And then it's going to ask you to activate it. You want to activate it by phone. So you're going to, you're going to, you'll have two options here.
you'll have activate key and you'll have activate by phone. You're going to check the box for activate by phone. So you're going to check it and then you're going to hit next. And then once the program asks you for your phone number, you type in your phone number or the you call the, you call their number on whatever and then it'll text you back the the light you know the the key that needs to be placed in you're going to need to type in the key that it gives you it's going to have six digit numbers like 1 2 3 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 you're going to type those in as shown and then you're going to exceed, accept the, um, the code they give you. Then once they give you the code, you're going to type it out into the box in six digit numbers. and then you're going to have streets and trips installed and that's pretty much all you need to know you have to activate it by phone in order to use streets and trips and you should be good now you've got around the issue you have windows 7 which will run streets and trips 2013 and you have you have everything you need now let me just show you something else so when i put my usb drive in you go devices usb and it was unknown device. If you're not sure which device is being plugged in, what I want you to do is to pull out the USB drive and then go back and check and you'll see that the unknown one was gone. And or the the USB stick that was in there is gone. So you could even take a picture of this with print screen button. Uh it's because it, it's on the other operating system. So so you're going to cl click here, go here, hit print screen, then go to your Windows 7 or 11 paint, paste that so you see it, and take your flash drive, put it in, go to the devices, and now you'll see the difference is that one of, one of the USB settings is different now. So you could check the picture in comparison to find the um, the USB drive but for me it was unknown device so I'm just gonna use I'm gonna click that so you go up here devices USB unknown device you'll hear the beep and then you hit computer and it should work okay that's all the information you need to know have a good day